Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Dromeda DB 4.18 from Habaco. Uh, this is a 1 18th scale desert buggy, and that's the DB. Pretty cool looking uh, model here. It's got, you know, drivers in it, spare wheel on the back. And one of the coolest things is these headlights across the top actually work. These are working LEDs and they're really bright, nice and visible. Um, I don't know if I'd quite call it a night driver per se because, you know, there's no like tail light. So when it's going away from you, you don't see any lights at all. So I don't know if that's really enough to make it a night driver. Uh, but, you know, it adds good scale detail, you know, so they're nice and lit up. It looks pretty cool. And there is an on-off switch for those here. You'll see, see if I can get that to show up on camera. Here we go. They're right there. There's the switch. Kind of a little awkward to get to, especially while trying to show you on camera. But there is the little switch right there, which I did not notice at first. So it took me a while. I thought my LEDs were not working. And I actually didn't see any mention about it in the manual at all. Uh, so yeah, there's your switch here in the back. So pretty cool that you can turn them on and off um, But a little bit scary at first when I thought it wasn't working um, But you can you know the canopy kind of pivots up it, it stays together here in the front. So it just rotates up So you've got this wire here that's connected to the LEDs uh, You can unplug that if you want but it, when it's plugged in it kind of helps to just sort of hold the canopy up like that So you can get to the insides um, this is a 370 size motor and then you, you got your battery tray over here and this clip kind of um, comes off and you put your battery in there and then this goes down over the body and then there or over the battery and there's a couple uh, little body clips that go in through there to kind of hold it in place and then your battery plugs into that. Um, this is the antenna here and it does go up through the canopy here. You'll see that hole. So it can be a little bit tricky to kind of get everything in there and closed and get the, the antenna to line up through that hole so you can get it closed. So let me try to do it right now. You kind of have to move that antenna with your finger to get it to go through the hole there and then you can finally get it closed. You know, and there is an on off switch right here too, which you can't you can't really get to with the canopy down. So you've got to turn it on and then close everything up. And then there's two more body pins here in the back that seal the the canopy down. Uh, but I did really like this canopy. You know, it's got a good nice roll cage to it. I mean it just feels very solid. Just really it just seems super durable. Um, I don't believe this wheel in the back is actually usable as a replacement. I uh, can't really tell. Yeah, it looks like it's not even the same size, actually. Um, I, think, I think that's just for scale detail. I don't think it's actually intended to be used as a spare or anything. Uh, but not, you know, not a ton of ground clearance on this one, so it's not great in the grass. It gets bogged down a little bit. Uh, you get maybe 20, 22 miles an hour, something like that. It's a little bit on the slow side, but um, still fast enough to be fun, and especially when you're like off in dirt and you know what it's meant to do. It seems a lot faster in the dirt, you know, just kind of ripping around. And it is four wheel drive and waterproof, so you can you know go in snow and rain and splash through puddles and whatnot. Uh, so you know, a lot of fun, but not super fast on you know dry ground. So this one I found to be more fun out in the dirt and gravel and stuff like that. Um, this is the transmitter, which I believe is actually the same as the ECX transmitter that we just saw in my other review, because um, it has this wheel like with the brake caliper there and kind of looking like it's an actual wheel, so that's kind of cool. And then you've got this same you know bay that opens up and you've got all your throttle and steering dual rates and reversing if you wanted to. And then your throttle and steering trim here on the side. So pretty nice little transmitter. This is the charger. It's a wall um, powered charger. You got little indicator lights on this one. So you actually do know when it's charging and when it's done. Uh, the battery is a 1300 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride, 
Uh, so pretty nice big battery. Uh, takes about four hours to charge with the stock charger, or if you use you know a hobby grade charger, you can charge in an hour. Um, you get about uh, eight minute run times or so. You know, as, as usual, it's going to depend on you know what surface you're driving on and how fast you drive. But eight minutes should be about the average. Uh, so a little bit slow, less running time, even though it has a bigger battery. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure why that is. I mean, I guess maybe it's weight because it is kind of heavy with all these like metal frame and stuff. It's got some good weight to it, so maybe that accounts for the shorter run times. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to say about it, so let's go check out some run footage. Alright, this is the run review of the Dromeda DB 4.18 Desert Buggy. We'll just start out over here on the uh, pavement, do some speed runs. So there's full speed. <laughs> Not super fast, but fast enough to be fun. I think they say about 20 miles an hour on this one. Looks like I need a little bit of steering trim. That looks pretty good. So yeah, that's just, that's full throttle there. This one kind of makes some weird noise too. It kind of has a weird high pitched squeal to it. A little bit more steering trim. Now I'm off. Doesn't seem to want to hold a good straight line for me. All right, well, let's uh, take it across the street here on the little more uh, off-roading. This one's pretty fun here in the uh, dirt and gravel. It's not very good in the grass. It gets, oop, gets pretty bogged down in the grass. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and turn on the lights here. A little switch in the back. Now the lights are on. Pretty fun here in the in the dirt. It seems a lot faster when you're skidding around in dirt and gravel and stuff. It's a little bogged down in the grass. We can do it though. That's full speed right now. There we go. LED lights on it are pretty cool, at least for the uh, scale detail. I don't know how much it would really make it a, a night driver per se, since you don't see them from behind at all. They're just headlights. There's no taillights on it. 
Looks pretty cool for the scale detail anyway. <laughs> oh, fail. Steering got knocked off a little bit. I'm fine. I'm trying to get my steering straightened out again. <laughs> here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the steering. The steering trim does not want to seem to stay straight it constantly is something like locks the servo up a little bit or something kind of changes the steering trim makes it pretty hard to hit a jump when the car won't go straight there we go <laughs> Oh, that seemed to have kicked it off there. I did not like that. Alright, well, apparently if you crash it hard enough, it just shuts down. So I think that was a good enough test run there. That was the uh, Dromeda DB 4.18 Desert Buggy. Pretty cool little uh, buggy car thingy. I like the uh, spare wheel on the back there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check the uh, video description for price and purchase link, and I'll see you next time.